Hello everyone, it's Joe here from the Jazz Inspires YouTube channel. I hope you are safe and well. In this video, I will be reviewing the latest release from the punk jazz band Throttle Elevator Music, entitled Emergency Exit. The record, released via the Wide Hive record label on the 26th of June, features a colourful collective of musicians including Kamazi Washington on the tenor saxophone, Eric Jacobson on the trumpet, Ross Howe on guitar, Casey Knudsen on alto saxophone, Mike Blankenship on organ, Mike Hughes and Lumpy on drums, and multi-instrumentalists Matt Montgomery and Gregory Howe on bass, keys, guitar, drums and more. The first track on the album, Sublime in the Bass, features a lovely electric guitar riff that sounds like it has some form of a phaser effect on it. It gives the guitar an added feeling of movement which works well alongside atmospheric melodies from Kamazi Washington's shadowy saxophone. The reverb and delay added to the drums soften the impact of the instrument, allowing it to sit comfortably amongst the other sounds rather than overpowering them or standing out too much. Additionally, the bass within the track works well with the guitar. The simplicity of this song makes for easy listening. I love how well balanced all of the sounds are. The mix is tremendous. Sublime in the Bass is a pleasant number that piqued my interest and left me looking forward to discovering what was ahead on this record. The next track, Third Reflection, has a ska and reggae influenced sound. The song's emptiness made me feel as if I was walking through a ghost town that was once a vibrant place, bursting with live music and culture. I envisioned an empty area with an enduring spirit. The atmospheric delay effect on the horns gives the music a ghostly, abstract vibe which I found strangely relaxing and meditative. Additionally, the saxophone and trumpet added a lot of character to the song. For me, this track is the specials merged with the gorillas. The clean sounds give the music a modern feel, yet the overall aura seems to hark back to a bygone era of music. Track number 3, Jagged Reform, has an up-tempo drum beat and features some dreamy synth sounds towards the beginning that give the music a far out feeling. Next, Eric Jacobson delivers a fluid trumpet solo that raises the energy of the track to a new level. With the stage set, Kamazi Washington enters with a busy lead performance supported by a driving bass line and increasingly active drum rhythms. This track has a spaced out, otherworldly quality that leaves you wishing the song would last a bit longer. Next is a track named Another Moth Drawn to City Light. For me, the first two minutes of the song conveys feelings of apprehension and uncertainty. The combination of soft horns playing in unison, an earthy guitar riff and dramatic yet measured drums is terrific. The music paints a picture of something fascinating taking place. You want to get involved but you're not sure if it's the right thing to do or the right place for you to be. Relating this to the title, it's like a moth attracted to light. It can't resist the allure of that warm, enticing glow. The saxophone solo towards the end of the track feels like the moment when you reach a decision. It captures the excitement that accompanies a confident journey into the unknown. It may be wrong, but this is what I took away from the track. However, the main point is that this song has a lot of depth and can put your imagination to work. Following Another Moth Drawn to City Light is a track entitled Second Breather. The drums for this track have a rock feel, but the rest of the instrumentation doesn't necessarily follow that direction. One of my favourite elements is the bass line, which creates a somewhat unsettling, disconnected and mysterious tone. The combination of saxophone and trumpet would, at a glance, appear to contradict the inclination of the music, but on the contrary, it results in something fresh and progressive, a punky, avant-garde concoction. Second Breather blurs the lines while remaining pleasurable to the ears. I like it a lot. 
The next track is named Inner Spatial Search. This number features high paced drums, atmospheric guitar chords, a surging bass line and glowing horns. The core melodies of the track create visions of someone alone in space. They are searching for something but can't find it. The active saxophone solo evokes a feeling of confusion and uncertainty. For me, the speedy drums represent the adrenaline you feel when you're alone and not quite sure what to do next. The reverb and delay effects on the instruments sound spaced out and dreamlike. I really enjoyed listening to this song. The next song, Rattle Thicket, is a rock infused number with a gritty electric guitar riff, bright piano chords and animated horns that take the lead. The lively drums do a great job of maintaining and increasing the energy of the music. Also, the intertwining melodies of the horns towards the end of the track sound fantastic. Rattle Thicket is a brief, high energy rock excursion that adds even more character to the record. Track number 8, Art of the Warrior, is filled with drama and personality. At times, the song is relaxed and groovy, but at other times it has more of a climactic rock feel. The horns add a completely different dimension to the music, adding elements that on paper shouldn't sound right, but for some reason do. At times, the combined sound of the guitar, crashing drums and saxophone sound like they are mimicking a battle cry. The quieter bits are like the calm before the storm, before the start of conflict. Art of the Warrior is a fitting name for this striking piece of music. The next song is named Surrender at Station 3. Aside from Kamazi Washington's animated, expressive saxophone, the standout feature of this track is the synthetic organ-like sound that pierces through the rest of the instrumentation. The energy-filled drum rhythms with the punchy bass line provide a solid foundation for the futuristic synth and Washington to lead with confidence. This short, peppy number is a fun, futuristic and edgy moment on the record. I like it a lot. The final track on the album is entitled Marching Instructions. I like the chugging guitar, steadfast drums and dense bass on this track. The synthetic organ sound returns in this number along with Washington's swirling saxophone and the bright trumpet playing of Eric Jacobson. The steady pace of the drums reminds you of marching, which matches the title of the track well. The song has a mellow vibe, yet bursts with many different sounds and melodies. It is a fantastic ending to the album. In conclusion, Emergency Exit is an absorbing body of work that merges many different genres into one. Although the group infuses rock, jazz, ska, punk and much more into the music, it doesn't become overwhelming. The combination of animated, rock-inspired drums, earthy electric guitar riffs and Kamazi Washington's saxophone created contrasting textures that worked well together. I feel the broad range of musical influences reflected in Throttle Elevator Music's sound can pique the interest of many. While listening to the album, things sound familiar yet different. I enjoyed exploring Throttle Elevator Music's sound a lot. If you are looking for something offbeat, eccentric and exciting, then Emergency Exit is a great choice. I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please consider subscribing to the Jazz Inspires YouTube channel for more jazz related content. I hope to see you again real soon. All the best.